Hello, my name's Ali Burke, I'm the Business Change Council, and this webinar is about what they don't teach you at Change Management School. I'm an 11 year Microsoft veteran, I was a principal adoption and change management consultant, worked in 29 countries with the world's largest organisations driving adoption and change of Microsoft technologies. I'm also a ProSci certified advanced instructor. It's not about what technology can do, it's about what you can do do with it. Bottom line up front, Pavarotti had a singing teacher. Microsoft's Chief Executive Officer Satya Nadella wants the company to get good at change management. Great quote from Professor Theodore Levitt, that innovators and early adopters in your organisation need little help to adopt. They'll adopt anyway, but they're only about 16% of a population. If you can't communicate the vision to someone in five minutes or less, you're not yet done. Your change programme is six times more likely to meet or exceed project objectives with excellent change management. If you don't do change management, organisations have lost or wasted $900 billion on failed transformation. Think of your primary sponsor as Bruce Springsteen. Sponsors need to be active and visible. When is the urgency rate for this change high enough? Why adoption and change management? Value is only realised when people change the way they work. An example using Microsoft Teams. What makes people change? There are two types of change motivators. People are willing to pay money to have caused outcomes themselves. The three states of change. Severe initiations or changes produce cognitive dissonance. Why change is about myth making. Innovation decision process. Knowledge, persuasion, decision, implementation and confirmation. Five stages of change. Awareness, then desire, then knowledge, then ability, then reinforcement. How does adoption and change management actually work? Well, let's look at an example. Let's think about what should have happened. Workforce analysis workshops, call them discovery workshops. A persona is a discovery-based representation of people impacted by the change. Then we can use those to develop key scenarios. What about ADCAR? Well, we can use ADCAR to help us characterise the personas and scenarios and where we should focus our efforts on people's journey through the ADCAR elements. So now what? Well, now that we know all of that, we've got to take action. How do we do that? Who does adoption and change management? Who does all of that? ProSci have created what they call a role roster, including I buy statements. So this is one line in a plan. How much will it cost me? So the key ProSci document that you should invest in is called Best Practices in Change Management. What are the next steps that I recommend? <laughs> 